basket of fish tacos. And while there's no denying the deliciousness of the crispy battered taco stand version, it's easier, healthier, and just as tasty to grill your fish when you're making tacos at home. To start, you'll need one pound of firm white fish. Now a wide variety of fish will work for this recipe, like tilapia, snapper, mahi-mahi, or cod. Just choose what looks freshest at your fish counter. And don't worry about how big or small the pieces are, just make sure they're all the same size so they finish cooking at the same time. Put the fish in a baking dish and squeeze half a lime over it. Add one minced garlic clove, a quarter teaspoon chili powder, a quarter teaspoon cumin, and one tablespoon of vegetable oil to the dish. Season everything with salt and pepper and turn the fish in the marinade until the pieces are coated all over. Put the dish in the refrigerator to marinate for at least 15 minutes. And while that's happening, you've got time to make an easy cabbage slaw topping and warm your tortilla. Put half of a head of thinly sliced red or green cabbage, half of a thinly sliced red onion, and a quarter cup of chopped cilantro in a large bowl and squeeze another lime half over it. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil, season with salt and pepper, and toss it all together. Warm the tortillas in a frying pan over medium high heat and wrap them in a clean dishcloth or piece of foil to keep them warm while you finish up the fish. Once you have everything ready to go, brush a grill pan or outdoor grill with oil and heat over medium high heat until hot. Put the fish on the grill and cook without moving until the underside of the fish has grill marks and is white and opaque on the bottom, about three minutes. An easy way to tell if your fish is ready to be flipped is by checking to see if it gives easy when you put a spatula under it. If it sticks to the grill, just back off and check again in about 30 seconds to a minute. Also, you'll be able to see an opaque ring around the outer edge of the fish that lets you know that the underside is cooked. Flip the fish and grill the other side until white and opaque, about two to three minutes more. Don't get all bunged up if your fish sticks when you're trying to flip it or take it off the grill. When it's ready, just flake it into bite-sized pieces. Then, give your slaw a quick toss and taste it to see if you want to add any more lime juice, salt, or pepper and you're ready to serve. These grilled fish tacos are a healthy way to satisfy a SoCal taco stand craving. The fish has plenty of flavor from the garlic and spices, and the slaw is light and crunchy with just the right amount of lime juice. And that's it, brah, the easiest way to make grilled fish tacos. Appliance Direct. You know what has to happen to get your clothes clean? Number one, you need a good agitator to get dirt out of your clothes. Number two, you have to get dirty water out of tubs. Nothing can stay in there to get back on your clothes. For that, you need something very strong, waterproof, and won't scratch. White porcelain. And it has to be so smooth no dirt will stick to it. Why porcelain? After dirt comes out of your clothes, that dirt needs to move out of the tub without sticking to it. Why porcelain? Very smooth, won't stain. Very strong, won't scratch. Why porcelain? Have you ever seen a plastic toilet? Why not? Why porcelain? No residue in your wash tub. Appliance Direct. I love appliances. Here's two great natural ways to enjoy your backyard without pests or even worrying about poison ivy. Next time you're starting up a campfire, throw in a bundle of sage to the fire. It'll keep all the bugs away. Love this tip, and it smells great. Then take five pounds of salt, a gallon of soapy water, combine it, spray it on an area where there's poison ivy, and it will kill the poison ivy before it makes you start itching. Direct. Welcome to Appliance Direct. 
I love appliances. Here we have three of best-selling dishwashers in Florida. One, two, three. Plus, European model for good measure. We're going to test them right here, right now. How they clean, how loud they are, and how much energy they use. How do we test? Simple. Put a cake in it. We're putting fresh red velvet cake in each dishwasher. Hitting the start button, letting them work it out. Why this test? Number one complaint for science appliance up the web is about food left in dishwasher after cycle is done. And dishes are supposed to be clean. Science appliance is where customers learn how appliances work from a kid's perspective. Let's be very fair. Every one of these dishwashers puts out a clean dish if you wash them first. That's an old appliance joke, folks. Get it? They do a great job if you pre-wash. That's how retailers sell junk for more money. Get you to pre-wash. Would you wash your car before you took it to the detail? Would the car wash be worth a less if you did? Real dishwashers really wash. Manufacturers tell the retailers, but retailers don't tell anybody. Let's see the what Florida's favorite can do with the big job. Let's open them up. This European one took the longest and left the most cake. The cheesy has a lot of the cake left. Yuck! This one, all the cake is gone, but everything is still wet. Perfectly clean, perfectly dry, and not one crumb. Sam, what do you think? Nothing left but clean and sanitized inside. If you want the champ, go to any appliance direct and ask for Sam's special. Real long life, high quality dishwasher. Don't pay retail. Does it sanitize? Yes. No more passing on cold. No more passing on flu. One load does the whole house. Thanks for taking extra time and effort to not pay the retail and get more value for your family. Thank you for visiting world's largest appliance showroom, Appliance Direct. I love appliances. Appliance Direct. So big opportunities as well when it comes to winning the Heisman, guys. What does he have to do to actually be the guy? Where, where, where would he be at your point, at this point for you? Randy, your ballot? Well, for me, it's Marcus Mariota and then Melvin Gordon. I've got Amari Cooper third. I think somebody's got to give this kid from Alabama some love. There you go. Cooper's tearing it up. Christian? All right, so for me, I got Mariota as number one. Melvin Gordon is two. You know, I had Rashawn Slam of Colorado rush for over 2,000 yards, and he won the Heisman Trophy. So you know if he, in the next couple weeks, he's going to be there. But how about JT Barrett? Here's a guy that can slowly kind of get in the mix, and, you know, he's starting to do a lot of things that we thought Braxton Miller was going to do, and everybody wanted to give him the Heisman Trophy for the season. Yeah, it really seemed like it was Mariota and Dak Prescott to lose, but with him Ooh. out, I think Melvin Gordon slides up in that spot. And, hey, I think Cody Kessler's the Coming best quarterback strong, that nobody's talking in the country. You want to talk about the opportunities he's going to have down the stretch going head-to-head -head this weekend with Brett Hundley, playing against Everett Golson from Notre Dame, and then possibly head-to-head -head with Marcus Mariota in a Pac-12 championship game, he could have his Heisman moment. Well, I've got Melvin Gordon. I mean, the running back, we just talked about him. He is the most dynamic player on that offense. He's the one that everyone focuses on, and yet he's still churning out yards 
in the magnitude that he did a week ago. And also Mariota's second. And I like Trevon Boykin. You look at the records he's setting there at TCU. He's got the record for total offense in a season, the record for passing yards in a season at TCU. And he set the career record for 300-yard games passing in a season there at, uh, actually for the career there at TCU. So he's put up some dynamite numbers. He's got to get that completion percentage up. All right, so Melvin jumping into the fray. Randy mentioned Amari Cooper, but otherwise this has been a quarterback's award, especially well, it's an as, offensive award, as, yeah. as time has gone on. But, well, in the 70s, eight running backs won it. In the previous decade, it was only two, and Reggie had to give his back. But 12 quarterbacks <laughs> since 2000 didn't have, to. have won it. Eight played in the BCS title game, so obviously it helps, especially when you look at the running backs there. helps if your team is, uh, is in the big game come the end of the year, which, uh, well, Wisconsin would have an outside shot at right now, but that's going to be tough. Yeah, it is going to be tough. And how about a guy like Shaq Thompson? Nobody's talking about him. We're talking about the most dynamic yeah. player and most All outstanding player. player in the country. Right. He's been outstanding. Four defensive touchdowns, two when he's rushing the ball. He's a two-way player. You didn't have him in your awesome. top four. He's in my, my, my fourth. It was top three. Top three, by the way. I had him in my top five.